so you've got you've got a ton of experience. You you got a, mm-hmm. you got a ton of uh, you know um, experience in real estate and everything. But what would you say that you're really focusing on these days? I mean, like, how are you spending most of your time uh, these days in in business? Uh, so two of my uh, activities that that spend I spend more time than anything else, and when I say spend more time, I mean they're still less than ten hours each week. Uh, is one is sales training. Uh, I've got a lot of people that I'm mentoring to get better at sales because sales is the one thing that if you get really good at it, you can double, triple, really demand your income. You can control your income if you get good at sales. So that one is I spend uh, many hours a week teaching people how to get better at sales. And then the other one is just creating content. Is uh, recording, producing. Uh, well, I don't produce it, right? So I'm talking at a camera and then the team chops it up, puts it on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and makes me look good. So, but I'm responsible for uh, recording the content, sourcing the content, you know, just sharing things that we've learned along the way. And that's our content. And that's what we're, we're chopping up and putting out there. How did you get drawn into um, the arena of sales training? And, um, and, and, and what is it about your background that makes you qualified to be an excellent sales trainer? <laughs> oh, I love the second question. So the first one is what drew me into it. What drew me into it is a, I really sucked at sales for a really long time, right? I have a background in engineering. So, uh, what qualified me to talk about sales is that I really geeked out on it. It was my biggest weakness. You know, I have a lot of things I'm good at because I'm willing to pour in the work, but sales is an art form. At least I thought it was for the longest time. So I was like, I can't get better at it because it's art. Um, but what, uh, ended up qualifying me for it is that I've been really bad at sales for a really long time. So I know what bad sales looks like. Um, and then I became, uh, as I, I started learning more about it, I was basically able to take my engineering background and basically engineer sales. And now we have a process, a framework of, are you doing these things? And when things aren't working, we can now troubleshoot it. Just like if you install a ceiling fan and it doesn't work, you've got the troubleshooting guide or you install your, your media center. It didn't work. Here's your troubleshooting guide. Now with sales, hey, you didn't get the sale. All right, let's figure out where things went wrong. Did you do this? Did you do this? Right. Same exact thing in sales now, which I thought was either you had it or you don't. Now we know there's a process and a methodology that you could be the most antisocial person, which I kind of put myself a little bit in that category, um, right? And uh, you could be shy, you could be an introvert, you could be uncomfortable talking in front of people. But if you can learn a process and follow a process, you'll be better than the guy that's got the great wink and smile.